So hello everyone, uh, good afternoon and welcome to another sourcing series here at Eurocham. Uh, today I'm with uh, All Dreams Cambodia, uh, really delighted to discuss with him uh, some of the journey that they have taken to, to get where they are now today and uh, to tell us a little bit more about the ecotourism sector in Cambodia. So without further ado, Bonga, can you please introduce yourself a little bit and about your company? Good afternoon everyone, uh, my name is Sukira. I'm inbound manager at All Dreams Cambodia. I have been working here for already 10 years. All Dreams Cambodia uh, is a local DMC, destination management company, that we work for the preparing the tour package and we promote Cambodia destination to the world. And our market is from all over the world, but the, the big one is from Europe. We have France and Spanish is the main country. And we have the North America, the South America, uh, Australia, and also Asia. Um, Audim Cambodia have been established in 2013. It is already 10 years, and we have two offices. The headquarters is based in Phnom Penh, and the uh, branch office is in Siem Reap. And we have, for the moment, around 40 people for the employees. Uh, very excellent. Uh, to start off, uh, just from that point, can you tell us what your company specializes in? What products and services you offer? Uh, we uh, we sell Cambodian destination to the world, and we welcome. We we offer our service to welcome the world to Cambodia to visit us, and we share our heritage to the world too. But not only the culture and the temple. We do many more things. For example, we have the beach, we promote the beach destination, we promote the eco-tourism site, the local community. Because out in Cambodia, we have the aim to uh, to be a sustainable company that we would like to uh, participation with the uh, assist and help the local people to have the social economy. So uh, that relates to the motivation to, to, to start these uh, best, uh, products. Can you explain more on that? Yes, uh, we have the, like uh, we have the cultural and temple that already have few of our temples and cultural performance already least registered in the UNESCO list. And besides of this, we would like to promote the new thing to keep the clients to have the long stay in Cambodia, yeah. like uh, we start to promote ecotourism yeah. now. And for example, ecotourism in Cambodia, we have all around the country. We have the eastern part that we can visit Mandokiri, Ratanakiri, Kapche, with the uh, ethnic group people and the animals. Also the south southern of Phnom Penh, we have the Kompot, Koh Kong, and around the Lesap, we can visit also with uh, for example, we have been joined with the Osmos community for the ecotourism mm. on the Prektor village. Nice. Yes. Uh, Osmos Prektor is in what province? Mo? It's in uh, Simbri province. Osmos, okay. yes. So thank you for your detailed answers, Bong. Uh, I want to move to towards another question for you, Bong. Uh, are there any specific uh, regulation or certifications that you need to comply within the industry? Uh, to which to ensure this uh, that you man maintain compliance uh, we have the code of conduct from our own company we, we create one to share with our partner in Europe and other countries and then we share to our client through the guide and the guys and our driver and also our staff are well trained to know about the code of conduct and they will inform uh, pass the information to the clients and they will follow up with the clients if anything that they do uh, beside the regulation of the code of conduct. I see. Yeah. What about the businesses? Any world, any standard, uh, international standard that, that all dream 
we have also the regulation from our partner in other country that they require us to follow their regulation such as for example in Europe they start to uh, focus more on the sustainable mm. and I mentioned one point like uh, for plastic mm. all the people from Europe they would like to avoid the using plastic in the hotel in the car in the bus during their tour they they would like plastic free right. yeah. uh, that that moves to another good point uh, in your experience what are what to to in order to sell the company what are some key unique selling point for sourcing this to the world from Cambodia and to the wider region no? um, to me the unique point for us is that uh, we are the small country but we have various uh, potential of the tourism mm. for example we if clients they come or to Cambodia only they have many things to do and to see like uh, they can go to the beach they can visit temple they can uh, have the local contact with the local communication they can have the experience like a uh, cooking class with the uh, people and also the last one is eco tourism that we can we try to promote it mm. to them what about all dream cambodia what is unique compared to other competitors we have created our own gaming and also treasure hunt. We have this department mm. to promote the activity and including in our main package. Mm. Normally, we promote them to our European market. They really like the activity. And this is the new thing that few uh, company they don't have this. So uh, how do you market and promote your products and uh, do you have any strategies that you find very effective over the years? Again, please. Uh, how do you market your, your products okay. uh, to the world? Uh, yeah. We do it by networking. We Sometimes we send the staff to join the event, to join the seminar and fair trade show or so the expo. We do the promotion by give the lucky draw to the people from the world to come to Cambodia to get the experience. Sometimes we receive our partner for their family trip. Mm. Also, and for the we have also share our we do the promotion to through the channel, the television channel, the radio, mm. the magazine, and also the social media like your Facebook, YouTube. Thank you. Yep. So thank you for your answers, Mong. Uh, I want to turn your attention to the product development, Mong. How, how do you ensure the process, the quality and the re reliability of your products? Uh, normally first we do the data collection. We get the information from our team, from our partner suppliers. Then we will do the inspection. We visit to the place to uh, get to know the to really understand about the products and we will find out that uh, what the point that they are like the and then we give them the feedback comments and also the we sometimes we give them the training to reply correctly to the clients we try to uh, form to form the people to be ready in uh, hospitality with the clients. Thank you. And throughout that process, do you find the challenges you find throughout the For way? the challenges we have, uh, mm. we, we found that the community, they have the limitation of the knowledge, ability to provide the good service to the, the, the customer, to the visitor. And sometimes we have the problem of the uh, communication with them and we cannot have full information. Thank you. So it's come to uh, almost the end of our interview now, Wong. Uh, just to end on a good note, I'd like you to give some advice to other SMEs uh, that are looking to interested in your industry and sourcing products from Cambodia. Any key lessons and insights you can share with them? Okay, for the new SMEs that would like to promote Cambodia, uh, I advise to have the strong commitment and 
willing to work in the group because mm. it's not easy to working alone for the to face the challenge that mm. you have during the working and also the uh, networking and communication is also important mm. thank you Bong. and lastly uh, any uh, notable achievements success stories that all dreams cambodia have have gone through uh, throughout the years in the industry uh, for us we have received few awards from Qatar from the association mm. and also from like a CCIF concerning to our uh, as a run environmental responsible tourism. We have also the, uh, received the recently we have received the award from WIT Travel in Singapore wow. concerning to the campaign that we launched last year and this year, mm. uh, one step no plastic. Wow. And we have been become the member of a travel life mm. that as we support more on sustainable and also the ecotourism we have become the osmos membership mm. and also zero Wow. Well, <laughs> so wow that's a result of hard work and uh, dedication i believe so that comes to an end uh, audience uh, thank you for your attention and certainly thank you bong for having uh, spending your time here with us uh, we hope you gain a lot from this interview and uh, see you next time Thank you.